when I was uh, studying in London, I uh, actually lived next door to Lucien uh, for a period of time. And uh, I was at the studio a couple of times. Uh, we had an exchange of letters, which I found the other day, uh, which was funny. And um, quite a few years later, when I started working at a museum in Vienna, at the Kunsthistorisches Museum, I had the idea to mount an exhibition of his work in Austria, where his family had originally come from. And he was still alive at the time, and we talked about the idea, which he found intriguing. We talked about what sort of works we could exhibit. And he unfortunately died during the preparations for the exhibition, but we mounted that show in 2013. Yeah. And during the installation of that exhibition, I was talking with David Dawson about the idea of this exhibition. And it took us three or four years um, to, to, to identify all the works, find out what they were, convince the people who own them to lend them, and this is the result. Yeah. So how long ago did you actually start putting the exhibition together? Um, I mean, we began thinking, I mean, David talked to Lucien about it during his lifetime, and yeah. Lucien found the idea very intriguing, but wanted it to be something that would happen after he was no longer here. Um, hence, it's happening now in 2019. But it probably took us three and a half years, or so, which is fairly standard for an exhibition like this, to uh, give yourself time to find everything, yeah. uh, deal with a few uh, declines from lenders and try to turn them around, which we were able to do in almost every single case. And uh, yeah. And um, this is your favorite painting. Uh, tell us why this is I mean, your favorite. I think this is one of the most remarkable self-portraits that any artist has ever painted. It's, it's a sort of painting that becomes, becomes an old master painting almost the moment it's finished. Um, painted around the time of Lucien's 70th birthday. He had a habit of marking these important milestone birthdays with major self-portraits. Um, the first naked self-portrait, um, the only, uh, in his entire oeuvre. Of course, he was famous for depicting other people in a state of undress, but this is the first time he'd done it to himself. Uh, he painted it, in the end, in, in something of a hurry to get it ready for a major exhibition in 1993 at the Whitechapel Gallery in London. And after he saw it hanging there, he realized that it actually wasn't quite finished and that the facial expression he'd given to himself wasn't quite right. So after the exhibition was over, even, even though the catalogue had been printed with an image of the work, he took it back to the studio and reworked it. And the face became somewhat more uncertain, um, slightly more quizzical, slightly more... Um, you can't quite grasp what he's maybe thinking. It's an extraordinary painting. One thing that I think makes it remarkable the sign of a great painting is it grows in size in your mind in its absence. I remember this painting. I've seen this several times in exhibitions and in the, the home of the people who are on it. Uh, I remembered it as twice the size. And every time I see it again, I'm shocked that it's actually, I mean, it's, it's a monumental painting, but it's actually it's got a curious scale for Lucien. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a painting that packs Quite remarkable punch. And what do you think this exhibition um, brings to us as the public that perhaps wasn't obvious before? I mean, it's it's a fascinating way to see how Lucien's style, uh, artistic language, develops over 50, 60 years from a very sort of graphic, almost northern European base, quite a fine line to this expressive brush loaded with paint. So you're getting a, a a development of style, you're getting a development of a human being who's physically aging from the age of 18 to 80, which is fascinating in itself. And then you have a kind of third current running all the way through the exhibition, which is mood and atmosphere. Moments where he's defiant, moment where he's troubled, moments where he's searching for something, moments where he's found something. So you have these three kind of jet streams that run through the exhibition, stylistic, physical and almost atmospheric and it's fascinating to see how they sort of interconnect with each other all the way through. Okay, well thank you very much. It's very, very interesting. Welcome. Very welcome. Yes.